Good evening, everyone. Is that is that too loud? Right. I normally don't talk with a microphone, uh, but uh, tonight I'd, uh, I would like to welcome everyone here this evening to recognize the remarkable life and accomplishments of Bishop Arlene Taylor. I am uh, Sydney Fender, the Chief Operating Officer for Queen Anne's County Public Schools, and I have the honor of emceeing tonight's dedication. Tonight, we are very fortunate to be surrounded by family, friends, co-workers, board members, and community members to dedicate the new sixth classroom edition, at, at, I'm sorry, new sixth classroom edition at Graceville Elementary School in honor of our former Queen Anne's County Public Schools Board of Education President, Ms. Arlene Taylor. Yep. Bishop Taylor was a board member from 2014 until our untimely departure from us in 2017. Bishop Taylor not only served Queen Anne's County for those three years, but she served the entire Graysonville community for many years, offering support and help for anyone she came in contact with. Tonight's dedication will focus on those achievements and the positive impact Bishop Taylor had on so many lives for those years. Um, tonight, just want to keep this kind of, you know, informal, want to keep it, you know, to pay tribute to Bishop Taylor and her accomplishments. Um, so we'll have some guest speakers come up here tonight. After with the ones that are listed, if you would like to come up and say a few words, please feel free to do so. I would like to introduce a few of our guests tonight. We have Board President Ms. Annette DiMaggio. Vice President Jennifer George, Board Member Sharon Harlow, Board Member Captain Kelly, Superintendent of Schools Dr. Andrea King, Deputy Superintendent Mr. Greg Belusky, and we're very fortunate tonight to have the principal of Graceville Elementary School, Mrs. Carol Camp. And one other person I'd like to introduce is Ms. Carla Pullen, who helped put this together tonight. Thank you very much for helping out. With this. At this time, I would like to introduce Pastor Alan Court from the Ken Island New Beginnings Church of God in Christ to perform the invocation. Would you bow your heads, please? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for the privilege we have to stand in your presence. Lord, we ask and seek your divine guidance and moreover your favor. Lord, as we celebrate this dedication on today, let us be mindful of who you are, for you are an open door. God, we thank you for the life and the legacy. We thank you for the contributions and the sacrifices that have been made by Bishop Taylor. And Lord, I heard the psalmist say, David inquired, is there yet any among us of the house of Saul that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake? And the question begs, is there any among us from the family of Arlene Taylor, from the home of Arlene Taylor, from the friends of Arlene Taylor, from the co-workers of Arlene Taylor, that we may show them kindness and inclusivity for Bishop's sake? God, we ask and pray now that the words we will hear, the testimonies that we will witness, will be a lasting memorial to the things that she has dedicated her life to. And as we dedicate this, this building and certainly the annex for the children to cross through that threshold, we're reminded this education that forms the common mind as the twig is bent, the trees incline. So Lord, as we pour libation into their spirit, we would that you raise them up and one day they'll inquire, who was Bishop Arlene Taylor? In your name we pray, amen. Thank you, Pastor Court, for performing the invocation. I would also like to add that Pastor Court was a former board member, so I want to say thank you for your service to the students and, and families of Queen Anne's County, sir. Appreciate that. At this time, we're going to do the Pledge of Allegiance, and next I would like for Ms. Sari Mathis to come up and lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. If everyone could please stand. This young lady is in fifth grade, and she is actually in the new wing that we are dedicating to Bishop Taylor tonight. I 
pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Why don't we give her a big round of applause. Great job. Tonight is with great honor to introduce our guest speakers. We're going to have Mr. Pastor Lenwood Taylor, who is also Bishop Taylor's father, Queen Anne's County Board of Education President, Annette DiMaggio, Queen Anne's County Board of Education Vice President, Ms. Jennifer George, Ms. Janet Pauls, Program Director of Teacher and Leadership Development, and Dr. Andrea Kane, Superintendent of Queen Anne's County Public Schools. At this time, I would like to invite Pastor Lenwood Taylor up to make a few remarks. still water. He restored my soul. He lead me in the path of righteousness before he named me. Even though I walk through the valley and the shadow of death, I fear no evil for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff they comfort me. Thy prepared table before me in the presence of my enemy. Thou anoint my head with all my cup on the over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Also she was saying, I will bless the Lord at all times. Yes. It prays that it shall continue us be in my mother. My soul shall make a boast in the Lord. Mm -hmm. All you hear that I will be glad. All taste and see. Yes. Yes. The Lord is good. His mercy endure forever. His truth is to all generations. Yes. I praise the Lord. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you very much. At this time, I would like President Annette DiMaggio to come up, please. I'm going to say that I really don't need this thing. I can talk just fine without it, but I will do it just in case we have somebody in the back that can't hear me. First, I, I would like to welcome all of you. Thank you for coming out tonight to honor a dear, dear friend of mine, and a dear friend of yours. As most of you know, Arlene and I go back a long, long way, all the way to elementary school, and we graduated from Queen Anne's County High School together. What fun it was to watch the election four years ago and see her win and know that we would be back together again. Then you throw Jen into the pot, and things got interesting. <laughs> the Three Musketeers were just that. We came onto this board to make sure that every child and every parent had a voice. We didn't always make everyone happy, but we had a job to do for the children in this county to give them the very best education possible, and we stuck to that. Arlene was a handsome person. She was never afraid to say what needed to be said to get whatever needed to be done. You all know that, right? <laughs> this community belonged to her, whether it be reading to her kids, giving young people a come to Jesus moment, praying with parents, or standing on the pulpit to some that didn't want to listen. She was going to tell you just what she thought, whether you liked it or not. 
Arlene was the person that helped the most needy. That was her calling, helping people with internal struggles who were battling with issues as illnesses, addictions, and personal demons. She had a knack. She could identify those people. She did what she could to reach those people and help them. She was a true, true champion for her children. She wanted to teach them God's path. She always said that was half the battle. She was the rock that gave guidance, love, and support. And she gave you the truth, whether you wanted to hear it or not. She loved Graysonville and would tell me how she would come to this school and read to the children. She used to say they need a little extra help there. She would be so proud to be a part of this school and know that this was all in her honor. She may not be on this earth with us, but she's watching over all of us. Wow, where has the last four years gone? And way too fast for the last 14 months. Four years ago, three strong, ready to make changes, determined women walked into the Board of Education Only two will be leaving. But in our hearts, the third will be with us until we all meet again. Thank you. Thank you, President and Manager. At this time, I would like for Vice President Jennifer George to please come up. But it's also something that I could hear Bishop Taylor saying to all of us. Bishop Taylor was a champion of giving it to you straight. She had no pretense, no sugar coating. She pulled no punches. The truth was the truth, and that's how she lived her life. Her dedication to her community, family, and friends had no limit. She was a pillar of strength for all of us out there. Arlene and I became friends four, year, four years ago when we were sworn in as members to the Board of Education. Up until that time, I only knew of her from my husband, who taught with her at the alternative program that was based at Stevensville Middle School many, many years ago. And he said to me, as soon as she was elected, I know you will come to love her because I love her. Arlene's dedicated her life to the children of this community. She was the mother hen, always watching over with guidance and prayer. She didn't always go easy on them, but she was there through good and bad. A faithful and true friend, someone you could count on. We are all blessed to have shared her friendship with her, and I think there is no higher honor than the dedication ceremony in this community that she loved so dearly. Thank you, Bishop Taylor, for what you've taught me, for what you've taught our community, but for most of all, for the friendship that we share. Your legacy will live on here for many, many, many decades to come. Thank you. Thank you, Vice President George. At this time, I would like for Ms. Janet Pauls to come forward. Ms. Pauls is the Program Director of Teacher and Leadership Development of Queens County Public Schools. Good evening, Good evening, and welcome to our honored guests. It is certainly my honor to speak on behalf of Bishop Arlene Faye Taylor. I had the pleasure of knowing Bishop Taylor for many years. So today is an extraordinary day to pay honor and to pay tribute to her legacy. For all who knew Bishop Taylor, you knew she was a godly woman first, who loved God, her family, and community. She had very strong convictions and was not afraid to stand up for what she strongly believed in. 
education being a top priority in her life, not only for herself, but for all children. And to keep her dream alive, I'd like to thank Ms. Faye Taylor and Ms. Samika Mel Melton, who have begun a scholarship in her honor for deserving seniors at Kent Island High School and Queen Anne's County High School. So if you knew Bishop Taylor, you knew she was reared in the Graceville community, attended schools in the Graceville community, did outreach in the Graceville community, going to the streets to testify and creating the Youth in Action group, arranging field trips, sports activities, and plays for students in the community. She was revered by the community as is seen today by the presence here. Her first church was here in Graceville as well. She was well respected and honored by judges, attorneys, and principals in the area. It was quoted that she was always right there when needed for everyone. And her final resting place is right here in Graysonville as well. So it is more than appropriate that we dedicate this new wing of Graysonville Elementary School to Bishop Faye Taylor, Arlene Faye Taylor, who was a strong, faithful woman who was obedient, wise, courageous, and a compassionate leader. Maya Angelou once stated that courage is the most important virtue because without courage, you cannot practice any other virtues consistently. And courage certainly exemplified Bishop. There is a hymnal, God put a rainbow in the sky when he thought the sun wasn't going to shine anymore. When the days grew dim, and this is how we all felt when we heard the devastating news of her death. We all know rainbows are formed by sunlight through raindrops, and the rainbow bends the light and colors the sky for all to see, and one of those magnificent colors is Bishop's favorite color, violet. When I think of her in the new wing, she will be a rainbow to all of the children who pass through. For me personally, she was a rainbow in my cloud. She always brightened my day, and just knowing her leaves a sweet memory. I admired her not for her smile, although it was beautiful. I admired her not for her eyes, although they shone brightly. I admired, I admired her for her battle scars that she displayed proudly for the world to see. I admired her most for her strength and courage. I know she's only a few feet away, making a difference in our county still. In closing, and in the words of Bishop Taylor, and I quote, God opened the door for me to be a blessing for others. This is who I am with no apology. I ran to make a difference in this county, and from the acts today, I would say that she truly did. I'd like to thank everyone who made this day possible, Dr. Kane and the executive team, Mr. Daniels for coming forth and reading the proclamation for the Board of Education, Mr. Pinder, Mrs. Pullen, and especially without a doubt her two amigos. I always call them the three amigos, Jen and Annette. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Wallace. At this time, we would like Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Andrea King, to please come up. Mr. Pender, good evening. First of all, I'd like to thank all of you for coming out tonight. Of all of the speakers that you've heard speak tonight, I'm the one and only who did not have the pleasure of working closely with Bishop Taylor. So tonight, you've heard so many wonderful things about Bishop. You've heard of her courage. You've heard of her strength. You've heard of her, uh, her ability to just lay things out and tell it like it is. All of those things I wish I had had the opportunity to experience. All of those wonderful and positive things I wish, and I tell you, I know that she was a praying woman, and I can tell you there's probably not a person on that front row there that wouldn't agree that we could use her prayers, <laughs> all of us. Uh, so we definitely miss her presence. I did have an opportunity to speak with her on several different occasions. Uh, she would call me and check on me, even as I arrived here and uh, in her illness, she was insistent to ensure that I had a heart to look out for children, to look out for all children. 
And that is what she did. And make no mistake about it, I recognize that I probably would not be here had it not been for the efforts of Bishop Taylor and some of our other board members. So I am most grateful for that. So as we move on, it's my hope that as Pastor Cork spoke earlier today, this evening, that when the boys and girls of Graysonville Elementary School walk up and down that new wing, that they'll see the plaque that will be unveiled for you momentarily, and they will say, who is Bishop Arlene Taylor? And so her legacy, her story will continue and it will live on even as she's gone years and years from now because we remember her with such a special heart. So I'd like to thank all of you for being here. I'd like to thank our board members, Mr. Maggio, Ms. George, who worked so closely, and Mr. Maggio's insistence that we absolutely recognize Bishop Taylor in this wing and the support that she had. And again, uh, Mr. Daniels' uh, presentation before our school board and all of you who support us. Uh, certainly, I see Mary Walker back there and, and her work. There's so many people who uh, were impacted by Bishop and want to make sure that her legacy lives on. So I thank you all. I thank Mr. Pender and Ms. Pullen for the work that they've done and for all who've spoken today and certainly for the prayer for Pastor Cork and all of you and her, to her family. Again, thank you. You did a wonderful job in raising a wonderful, wonderful person who's impacted so many. So I'm gonna move on and we're gonna have the unveiling, but I thank all of you and let us remember to let her legacy live on. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. King. At this time, is there anybody that would like to come up and say a few words in honor of Bishop Taylor? Um, if you would, if you come up, please, just state your name, your relationship, because, like I said, this is a community event, and it's hard to put everybody's single name on this flyer here. So if you would, would like to come up, don't feel like you have to. I just want to open it up because we're honoring a great individual here tonight.
to have known her is to have known a special kind of love. I kept hearing, I think you say and someone else say that when the kids see the, the memorial or the plaque and they'll say, who is Bishop Arlene Taylor? Who is Bishop Arlene Taylor? She was so much to so, so many of us. I would say this because I'm too emotional, I can't say much. But I, I want us to take this away that let this dedication be go be a constant reminder of who she was and who she did and give life to her legacy um, by whatever impact or impacts she has made in your life. Use that as motivation to go out and make your own impact. Lauren knows regardless of what you needed, she was there. If you had to be married, buried, you had to go to school, college, if you were in the hospital, if you had to go to court, work, church, in jail, in your living room, in the streets, if you need a prayer, love, a hug, she, she was there to give it to you. I think if someone says straight, it shoot from the hip. And that is what I want us to go out and do. Whatever impact she made on your life, give life to her legacy um, by making your own impact. So she, she would want that, and this is a beautiful tribute. Um, I thank you all. Um, thank you, Mr. Maggio. Jen, I knew that you were pretty much here. She told me all the time, so good job. Is there anybody else that would like to come up and offer a few words? And I brought tissues in case you need some. All right. Hello, my name is Marshall Rhines, one of Arlene's friends. Uh, I didn't know I'm going to be standing up here, but I couldn't go without saying something about Arlene because I loved her so much, and she knew that. Um, but one thing I, I was just thinking about how. Um, she would get me in a whole lot of stuff. <laughs> and I told her, I said, let me tell you something. I'm not going in the jailhouse with you. And when I went in the courtroom with her, I didn't like that either. So, you know, trying to fill all these shoes, I knew I'll never be anywhere close to filling her shoes. But I always enjoyed her. And I think as a friend, you know, you tell your friends different things. And one thing I did with Arlene, I made sure that I told her the truth, whether she liked it or not. Because some people, you know, they want to, well, I don't want to hurt her feelings, I want to do that. No, I'm not trying to hurt her feelings, but I want her to know as a friend. I might would stand in the background, but she knew if she wanted the truth, she came to me because I was going to give it to her. And she gave it to me too. And we enjoyed each other. Um, I remember I was writing a play, and uh, she came to me, she said, I wrote a play. I'm like, no, I wrote a play. She said, well, I want you to be in my play. I'm like, no, I want you to be in my play. So we finally let her go, and um, she wrote this play called Crack It Up On Crack. And Lord, she had that play going on and on everywhere that you could imagine. In the coffin, I told her, I said, look, I ain't getting in the coffin. You get in the coffin. So I was her best friend that got her started on crack. And I remember so many people would see me and they were like, there she go. She the one got that girl stole on them girls. I'm like, it was a play. But uh, you know, I enjoyed that uh, when we did um, have the opportunity to do that. And, um, and she kept asking me, she was like, come on, let's do it again. I said, no, I'm finished with that. So she would ask me when they would have a party for her, a birthday party, can you come and do something? Cause I like acting. So one time I went and I did a play by her. <laughs> and I was all in that night. But it was just so nice to um, know that we were friends. And I also put on my shirt because we always wore our shirt together. We would always buy clothes and wear something, you know, a lot. So she got a picture and I, I saw it today and I was like, okay, Arlene, I got my picture on. Then my phone started ringing. I said, oh, she heard me, she heard me. <laughs> so I just want to thank you all for all your love, I 
I'm sure you had for her because I had a plenty of love for her and I'll never forget her and I'll always remind the children about Arlene. Amen. Thank you very much. She was always concerned about people. And she had a sincere heart. I took off the day. I said, God, I wouldn't miss this thing for the world. <laughs> and I took a half day vacation nice and early to make sure I get here on time so that I could get all of this because she was so worried about <laughs> And she worked so diligently in the prison system. And my mind goes back to when my son had to go to prison. And I needed her strength. She was still sick. She said, if I could be there, I'd be there. And she was there. She sat in that courtroom with me. And they took my son out. She backed me. Shannon is going to be all right. And I thank God for, for Arlene. You know. She was such a, you know, I will call her and I will say sometimes, I'm the big sister. She said, no, I'm the big sister. <laughs> Even though, you know, we didn't have the same parents, but she was like, not not a friend, but she was like a sister. And she stayed in my home and she watched my children when I went to work. And I could trust her around my husband, my ex now. <laughs> <laughs> she had the door key, she could come in the back. <laughs> and I thank God for Arlene. And everything that you're hearing, I, I know that she's been. You know, she didn't touch so many lives. And I look at her picture sometimes, and then there are signs where I can't look at it because the tears just flow and I can't cut them off. But I thank God to have known Arlene. Good evening, everyone. This, it was a long ride, not a long ride, it was a different ride down from Philadelphia, but it brought back so many memories, um, of the many trips coming down to spend time with Arlene. Let me just first just say um, to all the officials, I salute you. you. You did a good job. Thank you very much, very much. Um, all, all I want to say is, I mean, we, I, I've known Arlene, I don't remember when I first met her, uh, I can't remember, but I know we've done so many things together, uh, we preached together, uh, we went to South America together, uh, we held offices for the Youth Convention together, um, we, we just did so much, um, and, and so I will miss her, and the only thought I want to leave with you is, we tell our children that they can grow up and be stars. And truly, they can be stars. And that is great. Uh, but on today, uh, and the reason, one of the reasons that I salute you is that you helped uh, take her beyond being a star. She is truly a legend. And so thank you very much.
wasn't going to say anything, but only would hurt me. <laughs> so what I want to say to her family and friends, because she loved her family and friends, Mika, all you guys she loved. So this is what I want to say, because Oling and I had many real girl talks. So what Oling would say is she's happy that she's going to have this wing. This is what I feel she would say. But she also wants you to remember, do not forget about the children. Our children are still hurting, hurting, hurting. And I believe all they would say, get into schools and volunteer. Mm -hmm. Our kids, oh, if you get, <sighs> Queen Anne's County, if you ever go up into the Board of Ed, and I really hope this is fixed now, but when you go down the hall, I would say, Arlene, it's the walk of shame. And she said, well, Sharon, what do you mean? I said, look at the pictures. All the kids are not represented. So she went back and she said, you know what? We got to fix this. So all I want to say is all they love the children and she loved people and there is still a lot of work to do. And because we love all we need to reach out and continue the work that's left undone. I just wanted to say, I can't get it out of my mind. When it talks about in the Bible, is there any good thing at Nashville? I'm going to say to you, it was, is there any good thing? Is there any good person that came out of Graysonville? Oh, I mean, tell me. Praise God. Is there any good in Graysonville? All they tell her was one. Hallelujah. I was with her when she, her first service, when she started church. I was with her first service, and I was with her in her last. And my God, she was an awesome woman. She loved everybody. I don't care where you came from, what color you was, if you ain't had no money. She loved everybody. And my God, I loved her. Thank you very much for that. That inspired us. At this time, if I could have um, Pastor Taylor, Miss Deborah Lewis, and any other family members that would like to come up here for the unveiling of the plaque. Um, so if you would kind of make your way up here and surround the plaque. What you're gonna see tonight, there's about a six to eight week turnaround for the bronze plaque that we're gonna have permanently mounted in the hallway. It is going to be a raised picture. You're gonna, it's gonna be similar to the replica that we have here. But I think the most important concept to take away tonight is this is going to be in the hallway for generations to come. And I taught here in Graysonville 23 years ago, and I spent my first two years in the school. And trust me, when the students walk up and down the hallway, when the teachers walk up and down the hallway, they're looking at the wall. They're reading things. They're going to say, hey, who was Arlene Taylor? And I can't think of a better tribute than where the students are going to walk in every day from the cafeteria and out that they're going to pass this. So again, in about mid-December, the permanent plaque will be here, and I invite you to come in and view it. It will be mounted in the hallway right around the corner here. So without further ado, you guys want to come up around here? And my siblings, I have here my older brother Linwood, my brother Larry, and her sister Candy. So we want to say to you, we appreciate this. We thank you for it. It's an honor and privilege that you've given us for our sister and our, my father's daughter. Let's go here. One, two, three. <laughs> All right. As much as she was in the fashion, I'll make sure that that was taken care of, okay? <laughs> but for those of you that can see up here, the, it will be a raised 3D version where her portrait will actually be brought out in the bronze. It, it's, it really looks sharp. Like I said, it takes six to eight weeks to come in. But on the plaque, the plaque reads, dedicated in memory of Arlene Taylor, a lifelong advocate for public education, 
who is dedicated to the teachers and students of Queen Anne's County. Board of Education member from 2014 to 2017. Again, thank you very much. This will be something that will be seen for generations. And I apologize for that. <laughs> this time, if we could have uh, Pastor Court come back up for the dedication um, prayer. I can honestly say that my heart is, is just full. Listening to you recount snapshots and images of early Bishop Taylor, and since she was a bishop, and since I am a preacher, I'll just do this. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. God has spoken. So let the church say amen. Can you do that again? Let the church mm, to what his plan, Lord, to what his word said, God has spoken, so let the church say amen. Let's give Arlen a hand. Let's give God a hand for our sister. Let's give God a hand for her life. Give God a hand for her service. Let's give God a hand for the plan that put this in motion. Let's give God a hand for the board members who had to take the vote. Let's give God a hand for the NAACP who planted the seed. Let's give God a hand for those who planted the seed. Let's give God a hand for those who planted the seed. But more all, let's give God a hand praise for what's going to happen because of the flourishing. Father God, we dedicate this building to life and learning. We dedicate it, Lord, to the future generations we will never see. We dedicate it to the principles that Arlene Taylor lived by and ultimately died for. We dedicate it, Lord, right now ourselves, Lord, to lift up somebody, to turn to somebody and tell them I love you, to make sure that our communities are oases of love and places where our children can indeed thrive. We dedicate not only the building and not only the walls and not only the windows and not only the chairs, but God, we submit ourselves to the principles of STEM, not just the science, the technology, the engineering, the mathematics, but the GPS that she lived by, God positioning satellite. And you have positioned us here tonight to bear witness, even as Peter, James, and John stood on the Mount of Transformation, Figuration. And when the Lord appeared and when Elijah appeared and when Moses appeared, Peter said, it is good for us to be here. And in a climate of America today where there's so much separation and little credit due to those who serve, we thank God it's good for us to be here to bear witness that today Arlene Taylor's name will be inscribed. Yeah. Hallelujah on the wall. Come on somebody and say thank God. Thank God. For the benevolence, the kindness that has paved the way, and thank God for the bridge that brought us over. And we dedicate ourselves to the concept that all men are created equal. And when our children see this wonderful face inscribed on that wall and tattooed on that wall, they'll know that little boys and girls, red, yellow, black, and white, and brown skin can achieve and do anything. They can rise to higher heights and deeper depths. And we dedicate ourselves to that. For we believe that we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. And God's people say, Amen. come on, let's bring our hands together. Hallelujah. Thank you, Pastor Court. Before we have closing comments, um, sitting up here listening to everybody tell their stories and I'm standing back looking at the two gentlemen that take care of this uh, 
building every single night. Yep, Mr. Settler, you're one up there. Big guy, you're the other one too, all right? So every night, you do a great job with this building, cleaning it, make sure it's ready for the next day. But you got a bigger job now in making sure the fifth grade wing dedicated to uh, Bishop Taylor's ready. All right? So don't let me down that because I know you guys won't, so thank you very much. Um, when we're finished, we're going to open the wing up. If you would like to take a tour of it, feel free to. Again, the plaque will be mounted right outside this wall in the main hallway. We have some refreshments in the back. Please feel free to, to gather some refreshments. Um, and thank you very much uh, for coming out tonight. It was an honor to get to MC this um, special occasion. Ms. Annette DiMaggio, would you like to come up for a few closing remarks? I have tissues for you too, so it's all right. Okay, two of the amigos, that's Ms. Paul's culture, guys. right here. First of all, Sid, thank you. Carla, thank you. Thank you all for coming out. Phew. I did good the first time. <laughs> um, if you don't know, uh, Jenny and I go off the board at the beginning of December. And it was very, very important to have this dedication to Arlene before we went off the board. We wanted to make sure that we were still members, that she was still a member, because she will live in my heart forever. I think about her every day. Um, her and I live in Barclay. Um, I can't even ride by her house that I don't cry. And I'm so upset because she had so many hopes and so many dreams. But you know what? I forget who said it, but one of you out there said, because she's gone, the dream is not over with. Right. We have to get into these schools. We have to help our children. We have to guide them. We have to show them the way to go. That's what she did for these children. And I will do that until the day that I meet her, because that's what I know she would want me to do. Before I hand it over to Jen, these flowers, we're going to take them and put them on her grave site um, in the memory of her from Jen and I and, and the board members because she loved her purple. <laughs> so um, if there's anyone that would like to go with us, I know that someone's going to have to show us how to get there because we don't know where we're going. Um, and I don't care if it's money. I can take my shoes off. I don't take care of this, but Anybody that would like to go, um, please um, feel free to go. Thank you all for coming. Thank you, Sid. Thank you, Carla. We could not have done this without you. Um, you're very important to this process. Annette, myself, and Arlene used to say all the time, we are three strong. And we will continue to be three strong because Arlene Talk, touch all of us. So she is not gone. She is part of every single person. Every single person that she said hello to, that she helped, that she just sat and listened to. She is part of us now, and we can carry on her legacy and, and, and do her proud. So thank you all, and thank you for coming and supporting her. Again, thank everyone. Please feel free to take a tour walking around. There's refreshments in the back. Thank you for coming out tonight.